Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. I'm not actually sure what number it is, but it does have a number. Probably something like number 14 or something, or 15. So I try and do these every Friday, but it doesn't always work out that way. But this week it has, but they are weekly, so around the Friday time or day ish. Or weekend. So just uh, if you subscribe to this podcast, wherever your um, whatever podcast player you're using, just subscribe, and then I guess you'll be notified when a new session is uploaded. That is a guess. But uh, yeah, it must be. Otherwise, why why would anyone subscribe? Yeah. So, uh, just let you know the podcast is available on lots of different podcast players, such as um, iTunes or Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn. Cast box. Uh, Shop if not Shopify, Spotify, iHeartRadio. I'm sure I've missed out a big one. Google. Um, is it Google Podcasts? Uh, as well as also the Apple Watch so I'm getting more and more people downloading it and listening on the Apple Watch so that's increased over the last few weeks and also is people listening through Alexa which I think is quite cool because I've just got myself an Alexa Sorry, I'm not sure. And that's what happens <laughs> when I say that word. I'm going to leave that in. Um, just <laughs> for comedy value. So I'm going to make sure I don't say that word again. Wow. Wow. So whenever I say that word, it comes alive, which is um, kind of funny. I'm not used to it. I've only had it a day. So I've been setting it up and playing with it and asking it silly questions. And uh, yeah, it's quite, it's very good for music. And what I didn't realise is, it's not an advert by the way, but the Apple, not Apple, Amazon Music is half the price if you subscribe through the the thingy that I said that I just bought. So it works out like one pound a week for... You know, pretty much any any album you can imagine is sort of available. Anyway, I'll stop talking about that. Um, also, my main, all of my podcasts, I've got about 35, are all available on my Spreaker podcast. 
so my Spreaker account that's where they all live and there's quite a few other sleep slash insomnia podcasts that I have as well as this one I do a deep sleep whisper hypnosis podcast which is among my most popular podcasts I just did the yeah 107 episodes on there I did 107 today number 107 and uh, those are about 20 minutes each and they're me just whispering so it's kind of the same things as what I would do here but it's shorter and it's whispers and I do the let me bore you to sleep podcasts again you know popular and but it's not it's not hypnosis it's just me being boring for an hour and I've done 160 over 160 of those and I've got two uh, other sleep insomnia podcasts which have all of my sleep sessions that I've ever made thus you know apart from the ones I've lost so there's like 200 300 or whatever 360 sleep sessions I think and uh, lastly another popular podcast that's growing at quite a rapid rate for some reason is the hypnosis for relaxation anxiety and panic attacks so that may be useful and you may you may already be bored you may fall asleep through boredom which is very understandable to be honest so what I thought we could do is just to start with go through your body and just notice how you feel do a body scan and I'm not sure if I said it at the beginning but only listen to this or any of my recordings when you can safely close your eyes and also make sure that you're comfortable make sure that you you know lie in a comfortable bed or you may not be able to lie down maybe you're sitting up in the bed or if you're going to sit in a chair make sure that the chair has sides to it so that you don't fall out but this might sound like a really obvious thing to say but um, there's a difference if you sit in just a normal chair like a, I don't know, a chair at a table you can be relaxed and everything but sometimes if you get so relaxed you might kind of flop to one side and that's no good if there's nothing to support you So make sure that you're supported, your body is supported. I can verbally verbally support you, but I can't physically support you. Because my arms don't reach that far. So we're going to start. Actually, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes now, if you haven't already. I don't normally do that. But I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes closed just for a few seconds. Notice how your eyes feel. And now open them. 
and I realize you may be in a dark room so keep them open long enough just to kind of get a bit of a focus on your surroundings maybe you can see the ceiling or the outline of I don't know, a chest of drawers or something a wardrobe whatever it might be maybe you've got the the moonlight shining in through the window through the curtains or maybe street lights perhaps you've got the bathroom light on and you can see that through the door you know underneath the door through the cracks and that's what I do I leave my bathroom light on at night and just notice how your eyes feel when they're open of course don't forget to blink it's not a staring contest just notice how your eyes feel as they're open your eyelids the muscles around your eyes your forehead your eyebrows you know all those parts connected to your eyes and then close your eyes again with the purpose solely of just noticing how your eyes feel when they're closed and just notice how the surrounding part of your face feels as well when your eyes are closed your forehead your eyebrows underneath your eyes the sides of your eyes your eyelids and just noticing how the rest of your face feels when your eyes are closed maybe your jaw your mouth the tongue your throat the back of your neck even your scalp your ears the temple just being aware of everything above your shoulders when your eyes are closed and now I'd like you to open your eyes again and just notice as your eyes become accustomed to the light maybe it takes a little less time this time because you know you're used to being in that darkness or that level of light but notice how your face feels instantly when you open your eyes your forehead your eyebrows your jaw your mouth your nose, your ears, your temple, your throat and the back of your neck, your scalp. Just notice any minor differences when you've got your eyes open as they are now. And notice any minor changes to those parts that I just mentioned as you close your eyes again now and just notice so I just did that myself and I noticed that my the muscles in my neck just really relaxed it seemed in some ways when I had my eyes open that my neck was kind of not on guard but 
a bit more alert. Because you think about it, your neck is being used pretty much the whole time holding up this heavy head. See, heads are not light. So your neck is doing a really good job, a really important job to support your head. The most precious part of you is your head, your brain, your mind. And your neck protects that by keeping it safe and keeping it up and supporting it. But then when you close your eyes, it's kind of like telling the muscles in your neck to take a break. Like saying, you know, your shift is over now. And now the bird in the garden's taken over your shift. Which is really good. I love it when the birds start shouting at each other in the garden, in the trees, when I'm trying to make a recording. <laughs> but it's a good thing about relaxing and letting go because any background sounds can actually increase that awareness of your continuous ever-growing sense of comfort in every part of your body not just in your face not just in your neck, not just in your eyes. Because when you relax one part of your body, the rest of your body notices. And when you relax, for example, your right hand Your arm, your right arm also thinks, ah, oh, now that's a good idea. I think, I think it's time for the whole arm, including the hand and the fingers, all the way up to the shoulders, relax. Let's all get into this action. Let's all just chill out. And then your other arm thinks, ah. So your other hand, fingers, arm and shoulder also follows and relaxes. Because it makes sense, really. If you think about it, that the rest of your body would also follow suit and relax too. Just in the same way as if you went, I don't know, to, a, to the beach, to sunbathe. chances are that most people will be lying down on the beach you're not going to have like half the people just standing there people kind of like to fit in 
They like to do what others are doing. They see someone relaxing and they might think, ah, now that's a good idea to just let go and relax. That's a good idea to just join the rest of my body and just let go. And then that sense of relaxation spreads throughout your body. Spreads down your spine and then spreading to all the different muscles in every part of your body like a wave of comfort continuously splashing against your body feel like you're in a jacuzzi and just got that water pressure against the different parts of your body and it feels so nice I always like that feeling of the water pressure against my lower back, so soothing. Just in the same way as if you're under a really, really powerful shower, you know, you're in a, in a shower and it's really quite you know really nice pressure and the water's on the top of your head spraying down on the top of your scalp massaging your scalp but not just massaging your scalp but sending those tingles and it is pleasurable it's really really pleasurable but that pleasure converts to deep relaxation throughout your entire body just by the stimulation of one part of your body relaxing can then lead to other parts also relaxing. Also becoming calmer and looser. It's almost as if your muscles are all being massaged individually. And deeply and gently at the same time. It's as if those parts 
parts of your body are being massaged by magical fingers which can actually dig deep into the muscle deep inside and send healing healing energy relaxing healing sensations into each muscle of your entire body and you can feel that sensation all the way down your spine as if those healing massage fingers are massaging either side of the spine moving from the top of your neck all the way down to your lower back and those magical healing fingers and just digging deep into your spine sending a healing energy deep inside your spine which then converts that and sends that increasingly relaxing healing energy to all of the parts of your body including your bones including your blood vessels relax and calm including your arteries and your main organs all the different parts of your digestive system every hair on your body becomes more relaxed with that healing energy that is moving throughout your body and then it starts to just cover your skin covering the skin all over your body with this deep relaxing healing energy and then sinking deeper into the skin again relaxing those muscles ten times more relaxed in every muscle of your body continuing to let go in a way that opens up your mind to the possibility of thinking about just how easy you can just let go and relax deeply and in the process you can actually feel more and more tired to the extent where he may be finding it slightly more difficult to follow every 
word that I say and that's okay because the fact that you are listening to my voice means that you have already opened your mind to possibilities of sleeping so much easier and enjoying not just the results of sleeping deeply but also the process of listening to my voice and just totally abandoning all needs of thinking about anything whatsoever because as you continue to relax even deeper you can really understand that something inside you has changed and from now onwards any problems that got in the way of you sleeping deeply in the past will stay there in the past and as you move forward you look ahead as you travel forward towards the future you look ahead with the knowledge that sleeping is so much easier now that you have 
chosen to allow these changes to manifest and sink really deeply into your mind now feels different to how it used to feel and you can now feel more peaceful within yourself you can really appreciate all of these new changes which you have decided to embrace your gift that you were born with the gift to sleep easily and sleep so deeply in a way that just feels so relaxing the more time goes by the more deeply relaxed you feel so tired it's as if every part of your whole body has drifted to sleep Drifted deeply, so deeply into a really lovely and calm, so calm, so relaxing. So tired and enjoyable to just be with yourself and take the time that you deserve to feel. So relaxed in your mind and in your body continues to feel even more serene. Peaceful, more and more loose and so loose and so. So 
just let go of everything. going to count from ten all the way down to one and I'm going to say the word sleep after each number and when you hear the number and then the word sleep you can become ten times more relaxed and more sleepy.
seven.
Sleep.